Hey friends, Ash here with Chance Sense. Hope you're doing well. Back with my wife, Chelsea, who's blindfolded. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be smelling, or you're gonna be smelling, seven, technically 14, different fragrances, a niche version and a designer version of each. You're not gonna know which is which, and you're gonna say which you like more. You're gonna okay. have the dry down like usual, and I'm gonna spray the opening for you. Okay, I can do that. All right, let's do it. So what we're doing here is I have, like I said earlier, 14 fragrances. And uh, basically these are fragrances that have been compared where people have said, okay, the designer fragrance A smells like niche fragrance B. Get it? I get it, yeah. Okay. Actually, it's a pretty neat little concept. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see uh, where, where this goes. Thank you. So some of these are gonna smell closer than others. Yeah. But still yet, these are fragrances that people have compared for a long time. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll have on the screen what the fragrance is and I'll tell you what they are after you decide which one you like more. Okay. Sound good? Yep, sounds good. All right, so this is the dry down of the first fragrance and I will spray the opening for you. And then I will hand you the fragrance that it gets compared to and you can do a little contrasting and comparing. So now I'm spraying the opening of the fragrance it's compared to. This is very highly scientific. <laughs> so here's the opening of the fragrance it's compared to. Okay. I know, you got like all, all this stuff in your hand. You want me to take what's in your left hand? Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back and forth and kind of like a professional dress. perfumer. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to be professional about this. This yeah. is you know very professional. It is. So we'll say what's in your left hand is fragrance A, and in your right hand is fragrance B. Okay, so if that's the case, then I'm gonna say that I like fragrance B better. Um, they do. I mean, I, I can see why they're compared. They do smell very similar. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just think that uh, B comes across more kind of um, like all the ingredients, all the smells just kind of meld together better than in A. You think it's more well blended? Yeah, I think it's more well blended and it makes it kind of, it makes all the fragrances or all the, the smells in there kind of pop a little bit more. So it's a little more attention grabbing to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that I like, as you said, B. This is B? Yeah, yeah, I like, right, I like, B. I like B better. Okay, so do you know what that fragrance was or do you have a guess? I have absolutely not a clue, that was, couldn't tell you. So that was uh, Histoire de Parfum 1899 and Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Okay. You chose Spice Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So designer wins matchup one. Yep. On to matchup two, eh? All right. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm just going to hold my hands out and just be prepared. Well, okay. Here's the dry down of fragrance A. Okay. And I'm going to spray the opening. I mean, feel free to smell it. You know, don't wait on me. Here's your opening. That's for fragrance A. Interesting. Intriguing. And then fragrance B. Here is the dry down. And I will spray forth the opening. There you go. I know it's it's difficult. What's 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 the top? Okay. Right, is the that pointy the... part is the top. <laughs> I'm trying, no, I'm trying to feel what the pointy part even is. So fragrance B is in your right hand, and fragrance A is in your left hand. Contrast, ah. compare, contrast, compare. <laughs> I mean, they do smell extremely similar. So this is kind of a more difficult one. I feel like I'm gonna have to go with B again. Okay, fragrance B. Yeah, uh, it's it smells just a little bit more kind of loud. <laughs> loud. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Like this smells very light and uh -huh. airy, and it would be, it kind of smells to me like it'd need to be one that you'd have to spray on like a billion times a day. And this maybe is kind of the same in that aspect, but it's, it's like coming off more, it's projecting more. Okay. It's coming across more strong. Yeah, it's stronger in projection. Yes, I just repeated what you said. Yep. 
Uh, I would have to say that, I mean, the one that I had my left A, it seemed to kind of, and it might be one of those things where it does, you know, with tester stress, but it seemed to like kind of dissipate very quickly. Uh huh. Uh, and whereas B kind of lingered and lasted there, like it was maybe a little, had a little bit more quality to it. So you chose Reflection Man from Amouage. The other fragrance was Le Mans from Jean Paul Gaultier. Gotcha. So okay. you, you chose Niche. On to round three. So this time, fragrance A is this one. And let me give, you the, give it a little spray. I do, I do always, I've always liked amouage, amouages. You like it? Yeah. You like that? And fragrance A will be going up against fragrance B. Here is the dry down for B. Sorry, I'm just kind of flopping it into your hand. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. And here's the opening. So we got fragrance A, fragrance B, A, B. Uh. This is really difficult when like you're blindfolded and you're literally just only going off of smell. Yeah, that's why the blindfold is on. <laughs> yeah. Now you, you can't have any bias. Yeah, you like second guess yourself more. Yeah, that does happen. I know that. Is there like a little bit of maybe like leather or suede or something in this? Could be. Am I totally wrong? No. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with B again. Everything that like in my in my hand in B is just like a winner or something. I feel like I'm picking up like a little bit more of like like suede or leather or something of the sort in this. Are you finding B to be uh, higher quality smelling, nicer overall, or what's the deal there? Yeah, like I feel like it's uh, kind of a better done fragrance and you're able to, instead of just everything, just kind of like holly jolly, like going in there and just, you know. Like, like, a, like a big bunch of stuff, you mean? To yeah. where it can smell like there's too much going on is that what you mean yeah so you where you can't really there's so much going on you can't really like pick up like you know what something is you can't discern yeah but this is like i can that's why i asked you like is there leather or suede or something because this i feel like i can pick up maybe a little bit more of, of something like that than i can in this one so like right. i can pick you, up uh, you say that about b Right. Okay. Yeah. Cause you're just holding up sticks <laughs> and like, yeah. I can pick up more of this and this and, and that. Yes. <laughs> wee wee. Yes. Okay. Wee wee. Wee wee. So you have chosen Olfactive Studio Chambre Noir. The other fragrance was Bentley for Men Intense. Yeah. Uh, I could kind of tell that like A was kind of a little like more cheaply done, uh, which I mean, I'm not saying that it was necessarily a bad fragrance. Sacre bleu. Sacre vides. It's just, you could tell B, like they really took their time on that. Here is round four. That's fragrance A, the dry down. And that will be going head to head against fragrance B for Bonanza. Yeah, I don't know. Fragrance B. Contrast and compare away. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Hmm. The opening went in a direction of this one that I didn't actually expect. You mean the opening of B smelled differently than you expected? Yeah, because the dry down, I was like, oh, that dry down, yeah, that dry down smells like, you know, it's gonna be like super interesting. Uh, which not to say that it's not interesting, it just went in a different direction of an opening that I thought it was gonna go in, in my mind, smell wise. Okay, um, how so? Uh, I feel like it's a little bit maybe more like green, and I wasn't expecting. It was greener than you were expecting yes. the opening to be. Right. Okay. Where the dry down, uh, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't think in my mind it was gonna be like, you know, green, just green. So what are you, what are you feeling here? What, what's, uh, what's your inner perfumista thinking? I'm gonna go with B again. Going with B. I feel like it's just uh, the, maybe it's a little bit more higher quality. Like the fragrances, just a little in B, it's a little bit more, the ingredients a little bit more high quality. So they're projecting a little bit more than in A. So you have chosen purple label from Ralph Lauren. The other fragrance was Bleecker Street from Bond Number no. 9. Interesting, okay. So designer fragrance wins this round. That's kind of like an upset, I feel like. Yeah, probably. Purple label is not really well known because, uh, well, it is with fragrance people but they really just sell it on the Ralph Lauren website. You know, you can't find it very easily. I mean, the, uh, honestly, the, the Ralph Lauren kind of, in my opinion, killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Here is 
fragrance A. Ooh, I like this one. I don't know what it is, but I've definitely smelled it multiple times. Hmm, intriguing. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it or even the house, but I know that I've smelled this multiple times. And I'm spraying fragrance B. Yeah, they both kind of got that like a uh, bubble gummy sweetness. One of them's probably Invictus, if I had to guess. If I got that right, then that'll be like the first ever one that I've guessed correctly while blindfolded and I'll be totally proud of myself. No. <laughs> oh, man. <yeah>. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad. It's sweet, but it's not Invictus. I'm gonna go with A in this sense, because I feel like B is more uh, sweet and that's pretty much, I feel like all it's kind of got going on. So you chose Oula Rouge from Christian Siriano. The other fragrance was Maison Francis Kirkshawn Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you chose like the most, <laughs> the most like basic uh, designer over one of the most heralded niche fragrances. I mean, honestly, they do smell extremely similar. They smell like Invictus. Yeah, they do. They smell like Invictus, so I feel like I'm just smelling Invictus. Uh, if this was like an 80s horror movie, I would turn into liquid and melt away. <laughs> Jason would be like coming in the background. Nah, I'd just like... do it myself. I'd be like, all right, peace. <laughs> <All> <laughs> so. Here's the dry down of our second to last Frog Run Say. Mm. Here's the opening. Oh yeah, there you go, show it. I smell some... Uh, a Ventus E type. Could be. Smells. Here's the uh, dry down of B, and I will spray B for you, and then I will hand it to you, and you will smell it, and you will tell us A or B. <laughs> yeah, A. Oh, that was pretty quick. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, B, uh, I kind of, smells a little bit more synthetic. I like A. Going yeah. with A. You have picked a Ventus. Ah! Ooh. E Explorer was the other one. Oh. So that was pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do as good on Baccarat Rouge 540, though. I'll tell <laughs> you that <sorry>. much. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> you know, it, it smells like Invictus. Well, I it's mean, pretty sweet. It's all shy. <laughs> <laughs> they both like really just, they, I mean, if, if one of them is like significantly cheaper than the other, I would just get the one that's cheaper because really they're so similar. I. Last up, here's the dry down. I am proud that I picked Aventus though. Yeah, that's good. You got that pretty quick. Yeah, I did. You moving on up in the world. I know, I'm, I feel like kind of special right now. That's fragrance A. Fragrance B, oh, I gotta reach for it. That smells interesting. Fragrance B. Oh, yeah. What was that? There's your opening. Yeah. B. B? B. That was pretty quick too. Yep. Yeah, B all the way on this one. I mean, I, they smell similar-ish, of mm. course. Yeah. But B's just done it way better. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that is Fiero from Zerzhov and the other fragrance, Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette by Dior. So you chose the Zerzhov. Yeah, I, that one's just uh, higher quality, better, better smelling. So overall, we do have a winner. It is niche. Ooh, okay. Four to three. Well, that's interesting. Yes. So um, can I take this off now? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thank God. Whew. Hi, world. Are you feel blind? <laughs> I feel like, like I've been in like uh, isolation. Yeah, like in prison. Yeah, pretty much. So you chose designer with Spice Bomb and Purple Label and Oula Rouge. And then you chose Niche with Fiero, Aventus, uh, Chambre Noir, and Reflection. So, I mean, maybe uh, Niche is worth the extra money. Depending on the fragrance. Right. Yeah, because earlier you said 
If one's significantly cheaper, just get that one. <laughs> so well, it depends in, on the in fragrance. that specific head to head. Yes. In that specific one. Yeah. Like Aventus, I knew, I mean, I didn't know that it was Aventus. I, I could have maybe guessed, but I knew immediately like that it was better. Yeah. And then, uh, and I guess, what was it? Fiero? Is that the other one? Yeah. Yeah. It really does depend on the fragrance. Sometimes you really can't tell like that. Like yeah. you smell it and you just go like, oh yeah, it's definitely got higher quality ingredients. Other times it is more balanced. Right. Depending on which fragrances you're talking about. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for hanging with us today. You did good for the most part. <laughs> and uh, stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.